and welcome to the first day of the April vlog. I am still in New York and I am at a new hotel. This morning I transferred from the Dream Midtown to the Dream Hotel in Downtown. And this hotel, let me say, is, is very, very nice. I finished my gig a couple days ago, so that's why they moved me downtown. So I can do the BeautyCon slash Westfield meet and greet thing that I'm doing today. Hey, hello everybody! Thank you to everyone that came out to the event. Thank you so much. We actually got through everyone in the entire line. So every time that happens, like it makes me feel so good. And I, I'm sorry I got a little rushed towards the end, but we just wanted to make sure that everyone was able to take a photo and at least get a hug. I am so happy. I feel, I do feel drained only because it's just a lot of stimulation all at once, but it's like a good, type of exhaustion like I feel like I definitely feel elated and I'm so happy that I got to meet you guys and hear your stories um, so right now I'm just in the green room just kind of resting and then we're gonna do a couple of clips for the Westfield mall Instagram thing good morning it is Sunday Sunday <laughs> we're about to get our first tattoos <laughs> for the moment. I think it's a good decision, you know, it's you only live decision. once. Mm -hmm. That's how they say it, YOLO. YOLO, exactly. That's We're actually getting YOLO tattooed on our next. Yeah, Yo <laughs> YOLO. So there's three different sizes. Select a size. We're gonna see how it looks on our body. <laughs> this is Evan. Hey, how are you? Danny's first tattoo. Looking good. Evan is doing Danny first. How are you holding up? Totally fine. This totally is fine. painless. On a scale of one to ten, what is the pain like? Like a two? A two? Mm -hmm. What? Okay, wow. Okay. I don't know if she's just trying to be strong for me. No. Her first tattoo. Can I say now? This spot is. How was it? What? <laughs> Jen, you're done! You're done! Did it. How do you feel, Jen? I'm happy it's over. <laughs> we got some room service, a snacky uh. snack, some garlic fries, and some shrimp cocktail. This is a random choice, but I never regret eating shrimp cocktail. Never, ever. Ever. <laughs> Having dinner with Charlotte! It looks like we're in Korea right now. Nice. We're back in the hotel room. Danny's in the corner recharging. She is my new roommate for tonight. My bunk mate. We just got back from Korean barbecue and now we're gonna have dessert. These are cupcakes and they're so tiny and small and they're by a subscriber. Thank you so much for bringing them the other day. I'm uh, about to have a little bite. Which one Which one do you want? You pick first. Really? I wanna get this freaking Oreo one. This one looks bomb. I wanna try the green one. Green one? What do you think it is? Tea. Mm, mm. It's mint. So we got our first tattoos today. Any thoughts? Yes. Pain level two. Pain level two? Yeah. Why was it pain level six, dude? This is literally the most awkward place to show <laughs> my tattoo. <laughs> Okay, so I am back in the hotel and Danny left to go back to Toronto. I'm so sad. I'm having Danny withdrawals. It's been so amazing getting to hang out with her. But yeah, I just wanted to sit down and talk about the tattoo that I got. It's really so awkward to show, but I got a tattoo. This is my first one. Uh, the meaning behind it is self-love. Uh, this is just like your classic heart tattoo with a banner. Usually it says mom or dad, but this one says me. And I love the fact that we all got it, me, Danny, and Eugenie. I've known them for 
quite a number of years now. Uh, me and Danny go way back since 2011, I would say. And then me and Eugenie, probably the same. So now that I got my first tattoo, I feel like, you know, I got a couple more in the works. But last night, my mom texted me and it's like the saddest thing. She says, 더위 언제 돌아와? 그리고 tattoo No more tattoo, please. Like, She's like genuinely concerned about me and just so worried. So I had to call her and like calm her down. This will be the only tattoo for now, mom. <laughs> Ashley, my manager, is gonna fly in tonight, so she'll be staying with me. And then tomorrow, I'll be on set all day. Got a lot of work cut out for me, but for now, I'm gonna focus on getting this video out. <laughs> What's up guys? Currently on the road. It is Tuesday, even though it feels like a Monday. Yesterday we got back from Coachella. It was, it was not, it did not disappoint. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, but I'm feeling a little, I don't know, I guess I'm just feeling a little melancholy now that everything is over, the festival's over, we're back to reality. Not that reality's bad, but when you're out in Coachella, it's truly a magical place. Like the only stress you have is who you're gonna see next, or what you're gonna eat, or what you're gonna drink later. That's it. I am like a extroverted introvert, so I do have introverted tendencies, but I do well in social crowds. But after a couple of days of being constantly being around people, I need my alone time to recharge and center myself. So that's just kind of where my space is at right now. I'm just getting kind of acclimated to my life again. Right now, I'm heading to Anna and Jessie. She's gonna do my base. It's gonna be so nice to see her. I got her a bag of goodies. I got a bunch of stuff at Coachella. A lot of hair products, so I knew that she would wanna try some. All right, so the base is finished. Anna is about to do a, kind of like a beachy, effortless wave. That's what she's known just for. just air dry? Yeah, just air dry. Something simple. Look at all these nice air plants in the home. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Do you see it? You see it? Yeah. You see it? Five pumps of cleansing conditioner. Yes. I'm mixing it with oil. Working. <laughs> That's so much product. <laughs> <laughs> it's very weightless. Yes. It doesn't weigh down your hair at all. No. Okay. One, One two, two, three, four, five. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. Same thing. Mitch after the ends really work it in because that's where it needs it the most. Okie dokie. Wow, it smells so good. Alrighty, we are here in LA Live. Yes, we are. We are going to see the show Absinthe. Yes! Very excited. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of Circus de la style. Yeah, but I hear it's a little bit of burlesque too. But yeah. it's like the number one selling show in Las Vegas, but it's here in LA. It is here. Yeah, see? We can see it. Look, I regurgitated the fact on the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> that's us. I'm gonna get ya! Oh my god. Look who got a haircut. Oh, she's in a very playful mood right now. She wants to play fetch or something. <gasps> What's this? What's this? Whoa! Whoa! Right now, I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. Now that I'm home for a bit, I just wanna get back to my normal routine again. I went to the gym a couple days ago, so I'm feeling pretty good about that, but I still wanna maintain my health game. I tend to be happier when I go to the gym more. And I'm not sure if it's correlated by the fact that I feel happy that I went to the gym or if it's like a, an actual flow of endorphins in my brain. 
Either way, I need to hit the gym. Yesterday, Ben made this amazing breaded chicken for dinner, and I also had that for lunch, and a little bit of spaghetti. So I'm just gonna, I don't know, put those carbs to use. Good morning. Good morning. The Grams are on the road. We're about to have a lovely brunch today with Ashley and Pear. But this is, this is like the earliest brunch we've ever had. What did you say? It's breakfast. It's I true. Would say. It's, it's true. not even brunch. It is point. breakfast, yeah. Because we're getting there at 10 10 a.m. 10 10, 10, 10, 10 a.m. That's breakfast. Yeah, right? and we're going all the way to Santa Monica, so it's been yeah. a journey. Because usually, right when I wake up, I gotta eat breakfast, so we're. Yeah, I'm very surprised that you actually didn't eat anything. I know, me too. Because usually she's like, bam, it. I'm finished. I'm like, she <gasps> wakes up, she's like, ah, where's the food? <laughs> My hunger wakes me up. Wow. wow. Stephanie got the most delicious dish. <laughs> Bye, Pear. <laughs> Gonna Bye. miss you. Goodbye. <laughs> I am driving to a studio to film a three part series with NBC for the Olympics. Ah! Today I'm interviewing 16 future Olympians or potential Olympians. Uh, if you didn't know, next year the Olympics will be held in South Korea in Pyeongchang. And it's crazy because last time I was in Korea with my family, we actually stayed in Pyeongchang. And it's just such a beautiful part of South Korea. There's mountains. In the summer, it's just like the perfect weather. And in the winter, apparently there's snow and people go snowboarding and stuff. So it's going to be awesome. Ben is already at the studio with the rest of the crew and so they're just preparing everything, making sure everything is organized and ready and I'm fully prepared as well. I have like my interview questions and we're going to be playing a lot of games. So more updates when I arrive. So we finished our first round of athletes. We got the majority of the uh, women's ice hockey team, which is cool. Um, and they did the true and false section. Uh, we had like 10 statements about the Korean beauty industry. And they had to figure out whether it was true or false. But now we're doing the next section, which is called place the face, kind of like pin the tail of donkey, but with uh, makeup products. So we've got BB cushion on the cheeks because the entire face would be a little crazy to do. Uh, so just the cheeks. And we've got some eyeliner, a little nice natural cat eye. And now I'm drawing in the lipstick. This is just the example version for- Yeah, because obviously you, you're not blindfolded, so you've yeah. got a, so a good. big advantage. <laughs> Palm Springs area and not got in and out on the way. It's like it's just tradition. We're heading out to Joshua Tree. We're doing just kind of like a last minute impromptu shoot with Sophia and Whaley and also with the Cozy Boys. We're staying at a really cool house in um, Joshua Tree and we're just gonna go up today. Um, short and sweet, mm -hmm. but we're gonna make sure it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. And then Chick is also here. Shippy. Her, her road trip. <laughs> So Chiki just met Navi. They're getting along swimmingly. Oh. Hi. Hi. Go on, girls. It's actually not hot today at all. The weather's it's like amazing. A, it's like the perfect weather. We got really lucky. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's lovely. normally over a hundred mm -hmm. in the desert. And it's been like we have a breeze. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. All the dogs are here. Yeah, they're oh having a gosh. great time. It's yeah. so good. Good morning guys. So we ended up staying over here. <laughs> we did. We were tempted by this uh, very cute little uh, RV situation. RV home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, RV is an understatement. The bed, oh my gosh, was so comfortable. We Cheeky all slept enjoyed so it, well. didn't you? I know. Cheeky loved her time here. Yes, you've had a lovely time. Oh. Yeah, but this is the little RV home. This bed is super comfortable. We've got a nice little restroom. This is not a porta potty, it's like an actual toilet. But yeah, we did not expect to stay over, but 
just got late and there was the option to stay over so I just used Sophia's skincare. We bought a toothbrush and we're all ready to go. Now we're gonna grab some brekkies. Mm. My dinner tonight. We are here celebrating Brianne's belated birthday dinner. Yeah, Brianne. 